What's going on YouTube? Um, here we go, Robert Event at Golf. This is the, my first ever attempt at really producing any kind of real content for YouTube, so bear with me. Um, this is gonna be a slow process, but I hope to get better and better with each time. Um, so without further ado, I have an awesome box right here that I, I'm waiting to dig into. A um, little backstory on Vice Golf. I saw them online, they were um, running some ads about cheap golf balls you can buy online that are better than Pro V1s. Um, me being a beginner at golf and really still learning the game, I never thought that Pro V1 was gonna make me a better golfer. I'm a big believer in it's the magician that makes the magic, not the wand. Um, <clears throat> that being said, to me a premium ball really didn't mean much. However, over the past two, three summers, I've really been getting into golf and finally now feel that I'm at a point where I should be playing a good golf ball. I don't quite think I need a Pro V1, um, but I'm really kind of out of the X out phase. right? I want a good golf ball that I know is going to fly consistently uh, and give me good results. Um, so inside this box today, I have five dozen Vice Pro Soft golf balls. I picked them up online um, for about 125 bucks. Uh, for five dozen so actually a really good price for five dozen golf balls so i've been waiting for this moment for a long time uh, let's open up the vice golf balls off the jump uh, first impression is the, the cardboard box itself that it gets shipped in is pretty fancy nice logo on the outside and last thing before I get in here there is one surprise in here I, I ordered something else an accessory from the website um, so I'm excited to take a look at that as well stay tuned to the end of the video to see uh, what that surprise is um, so here we go box is open and right out the bat right off the bat you could see there's some premium premium packaging here vice pro soft white last year i almost pulled the trigger on these golf balls and i was going to go with the lime green i was always a big fan of the funky colored golf balls but i find myself to be more of a traditionalist and even after playing a couple orange and lime green golf balls uh, i really think that the, the white is just a traditional beautiful clean glossy look that you really can't beat on the golf course so that's why i went with the uh, pro soft white you can see it looks like you got a Kraken or at least some sort of octopus on the back right there. Um, so really, really cool packaging. But first impressions on the, the packaging itself is phenomenal. A plus vice. You know what? Let's do this for the camera. First ever unboxing of the vice 2020 pro golf balls. Look at that. Nothing inside there. Embrace your vice with the full image of that that Kraken or uh, octopus. I'm going to call it a Kraken because that just looks cooler, sounds cooler. Um, let's pop these open. Blown away by the packaging for a golf ball. The amount of thought that went into the packaging on a, on a regular old set of golf balls is kind of, uh, kind of cool. So let's pop these open. There it is, Vice Golf Four. Wow, I'm really excited to get these out on the uh, little home simulator in the back. Take a couple whacks and see what they feel like. But off the jump, uh, it's a really glossy feel, and of course you have the patented um, kill line, K I L, keep in line, putt line. The new Vice Pro Soft features an adapted kill putting line for better visual perception of alignment when addressing the ball. The extra long and highly visible keep in line kill putting line with sharp edges has been developed in collaboration with amateurs and teaching professionals to meet the highest putting and alignment needs. So we'll see, see how that looks out on the golf course this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We have tee times, um, Sunday's Father's Day. We'll definitely be playing these on Sunday. All right, and we're back in the uh, back deck here taking a look at the home simulator. It's a very, very, very simple setup we have, but it will get the job done. 
We have a simple golf mat down at the bottom with the Approach G80 that we will be using to record our data, a golf net bought on Amazon, and of course the golf bag. And that's it. We're going to get the GoPro set up and uh, take a couple whacks. All right, we're all warmed up. We're ready to go. Testing the Vice ProSoft 2020 golf balls here on the backyard simulator. We got the, uh, like I said, the Garmin Approach G80 down below. I'm all stretched out, warmed up, and ready to go. We're gonna just give this a couple swings, uh, see how it feels, um, see how it reacts off the club face. I'm gonna take a couple shots with the pitching wedge, may do a couple seven iron shots, and then we'll finish it with a five iron. Uh, which is what I take off the tee, so that would be my equivalent of the driver. Uh, so let's uh, give it a shot, see how it feels, and uh, then we'll go back down to the studio and give uh, my final impressions on the, the golf balls. Here we go, first shot ever, Vice Golf Ball, ProSoft 2020 with a pitching wedge. Here it goes. It felt good, it's a smooth shot. 118. Typically, when I'm really warmed up, I can hit this club about 130 or so. Um, that's estimated carry with the roll. Um, so, I mean, I really just warmed up just a little bit, so it may take a little bit of time to get uh, up to my full distance. So let's give it a couple more swings. Oh, that felt like a good stroke. That felt really, really, really good. 140. Yeah, I could, I could tell right off the off the jump. It was uh, a really good strike. The ball flew right off of the club face. Let's give it one more time. That was two really good shots to start off. One last pitching wedge shot here. Felt good too. I mean, I gotta say that, that really did feel good. 133, so that's right on the money. I could say off uh, first impressions, it feels really good coming off the club. Um, the distance is there. You know, it, it took me one swing to, uh, to kind of see where I was at, and then uh, from there my distance was spot on. So let's uh, let's move up a club and see what happens. Next, we're going to take out the seven iron. This should go anywhere from 170 to 180, depending on how hard I, I uh, hit the ball. Let's uh, let's see how the seven iron feels. Uh, a little fat. Hit the ball a little fat. 150. That makes sense. Was not a clean strike. We're going to do that again. We want to get some good clean strikes to see how these these balls react off of the uh, club face. Try that one more time. Much smoother. It was a hard swing. I think I swung a little bit harder than I would on the course. 186. 186 yards. That makes sense. I really shouldn't swing that hard. There's no reason to. That felt better. Let's see what we get. 166. Okay. Maybe maybe hit it a little bit thin. That's nice. Let's head up to my favorite, five iron. We'll talk about this in a later video, but this is the club that I take off of the tee box, even on par fives. If you take a look at my bag, there are no woods or drivers. Um, there's a theory behind that, and we will get, the, get to that in a later video. But for today, uh, just going to give a couple whacks with the uh, five iron here. See how far we can go. Typically, this will go anywhere from 210, if I really get a hold of it, 220. But let's see. Definitely got a. Oh, <laughs> almost lost the ball. Out of frame. Definitely got a good whack on it. 204. Okay. So we can do a little better. Club head speed 92. Yeah, that means I just didn't hit the ball clean. Really don't want to be swinging more than 95 miles an hour for myself. Not with the 5 iron. Ball in the front of the stance. Try that one again. Oh, that was it. That was the one. 224. <laughs> That's with the roll. 91 mile an hour club head speed. That felt right. 
tempo 3.1 you want to be at three so I'm, I'm happy with that first impressions vice golf ball pro soft 2020 um, I like them I actually really like them a lot we will uh, we'll pack up head back down to the studio and finish the review of these golf balls all right <clears throat> and that's it for the uh, the vice golf balls I, I gotta say we only took about 10 or so swings but um, of the shots that we did hit clean, the ball did feel like it really flew off the club face. Uh, some of our distances were actually pretty far, which is really, really exciting. Um, we were on the upper end of our range when it comes to distances, especially on the clean shots. Um, so that's a really, really promising to see. There's still a lot to know about the golf ball. I want to see how it reacts coming out of grass, out of the sand. How does this kill line work? Is that really going to help me line up putts? And I will... Definitely have a follow-up video at some point uh, later next week, hopefully uh, with my reviews of on-the-course play with these golf balls. Um, with that, I just remembered we do have a surprise. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. So let's pop it open and see what it looks like. Pop this open. I believe it's called the Gator, Vice Golf Gator. It comes in a nice little metallic case for, for something, uh, something, something like this. I would have never expected that it to come in a metallic case. It's not something you typically would put in a case, especially after you start to use it. But I guess uh, following the lines of the rest of the products, Vice is all into their marketing, especially their, their packaging and. Uh, Gotta love it. Little metallic case for the Gator. Let's pop this open. There it is. <laughs> Sharp looking. Just a divot tool. Divot uh, replacement tool. It is, uh, wow. That is really, really solid. Um, looks really cool with the Vice logo right in there. Hopefully I get to use this this weekend. Uh, it's always a good sign when you're replacing your, your divots. So hopefully we can take the Gator for a spin on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. This has been incredible. Super fun to, uh, to produce this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and liked this video. Um, this is my first ever video, so any, any support would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, everybody, and I look forward to doing this again. Cheers.